Hi, welcome to the Piano Podcast. I'm Mario O'Hara. Today I want to teach you a few measures from the song Falling Slowly by Glenn Hansard and Marketa Erglova. This song won the Academy Award for Best Song from the movie Once. If you're interested in purchasing the sheet music, you can go to my blog at mariohero.blogspot.com and scroll down on the right hand side and you'll see a link to buy the song from musicnotes.com. Even get a sneak preview of that very first page and I'll be going over those first uh, few measures here on the first page of Falling Slowly. I'm going to show you steps on how to play the opening of the song on the piano because it's pretty accessible to even those of you who may be novice pianists. In your right hand, you want to take fingers 2, 3, and 4 and place them on C, D, and E respectively, like that there. C, D, and E respectively. What you want to do is play them in this order. C, D, E, D. It's kind of like the melody there. Try playing it along with me. Two, ready, go. C, D, E, D, C, D, E, D. Next, you want to add the G below middle C with your thumb. Right? This G in particular. Play it in between each of the melody notes like this. C, G. that a couple times with me. Ready? Go. C, D, G, E, G, D, G, C, G, D, G, E, G, D, G. Now in your left hand, play the C below middle C with your first finger, the thumb, all right? And just hold it down for the whole measure, four beats. And what you'll do is you'll play it at the beginning of the measure while the right hand plays the other notes like this. Okay, try that along with me. Two, ready, play. One more element that you want to add to your playing is the damper pedal. The damper pedal is the right pedal on your pianos or keyboards, and that will smoothen out the sound. And what you want to do is push down the pedal at the beginning of the measure and hold it down for that whole measure, kind of like this. And that's how the first measure goes. Here's how the second measure goes. Just like you did in the first measure, place your right hand fingers 2, 3, 4 over C, D, and E. But also have the fifth finger, your pinky, ready to play the F as well. All four notes there. However, you're going to play them in this order. Play along with me. C, D, F, E. Do that again with me. C, D, F, E. And all you have to do is add the G's with your first finger, kind of like what you did in the first measure, alternating in between them like in eighth notes, like this. C, G, D, G, F, G, E, G. Let me do that again for you so you get to see it again. C, G, D, G, F, G, E, G. And finally, in your left hand, you want to play an F below the C that you did in the very first measure. And again, hold that for the whole measure. Play it with your fifth finger, your pinky, without, you don't have to even have, move your left hand. Try that with your right hand so it goes like this. Let me play that again for you. And again, you want to use the damper pedal to smoothen out the sound. But try to play it as smooth as you can without relying on the pedal. Here's how the first four measures look like in traditional music notation in Home Concert Extreme. You'll notice that the third measure is exactly the same as the first measure. So the first three measures actually goes like this. Now 
itself. Measure 4 is a little bit different, but if you compare it to measure 2, it's the same except the right hand just alternates between C and G like this. And you still have F in the left hand like so. So here's how the first four measures of falling slowly go. One variation that you can do in the fourth measure is to play an A along with those C's in the right hand. Right? You'll actually have to move your hand position to look like this so that the fourth finger is on middle C and the second finger is on the A below. The thumb will still be on G and you'll play it like this. on the sheet music that you might buy from the musicnotes.com link that I showed to you, it actually does that uh, once the singing starts kicking in. So in the first four measures it does it without the A, and then in the second time it does it with the A like this. Listen to me. if you hadn't noticed that when you when do you have to change the pedal basically at the beginning of every measure you want to lift it up and down um, at the on the very first note of each measure there make sure you have a nice smooth sound throughout your performance if you want the rest of the song for falling slowly you can go to my blog at mariohero.blogspot.com and then on the right hand side is a link to buy the sheet music from musicnotes.com That'll do it for this episode of the Piano Podcast. I'm Mario Harrow, and keep on practicing. Bye.